Hi there. This video is a quick explanation of why two analog 56k modems won't connect above 33.6 and why you need at least one digital modem to get a true 56k connection. In the time that 56k was being developed, phones were generally only analog for the last mile between the closest telephone exchange and the customer. At the exchange, those analog calls would be converted into DS0, or Digital Signal 0, and then a bunch of them could be trunked together into something like Digital Signal 1 to be transmitted along something like a T1 line. The details of these signals aren't really important, other than that analog calls were converted to digital ones. This meant that the phone company didn't need to establish a direct electrical connection between your phone and the phone of whomever you were calling. Instead, they could pass a bunch of digital calls around on a much smaller number of wires. In a call from a customer to another customer, this conversion would happen at both ends, so you get an analog to digital to analog path for the call in both directions. For V34, meaning anything up to about 33.6 or so, this worked just fine. The problem is that while the signal used to transmit data at 56k by a modem can survive a digital to analog conversion, it can't survive an analog to digital conversion. This is the main reason that consumer modems, even 56k models, only connect to one another at 33.6. In virtually every call between two analog modems, regardless of the direction, the signal would undergo analog to digital conversion. However, bigger customers, like internet service providers, could get digital connections to the telephone company, so you'd eliminate one of those last mile conversions and end up with an analog to digital path in one direction and a digital to analog path in the other. This is the reason that 56k connections were up to 56k while downloading, but usually something like 33.6 when uploading. The ISP to you was digital to analog, but the connection from you to the ISP was analog to digital. Annoyingly, you might think that if you connected two 56k modems via a completely analog connection, that they'd be able to hit 56k, but that's not what the standards were built for. When modems negotiate, they actually tell one another, I'm an analog modem, or I'm a digital modem. If one is digital, they'll try to negotiate at X2 or V90 or whatever. If they're both analog though, they'll just fall back to V34 since there's no expectation that higher speeds will actually work. Anyway, that's a quick explanation of why analog modems won't talk to one another at 56K. Thanks for watching.